Back in 2015, we were lucky enough to visit the big island of Hawaii where we encountered the Mauna Kea silver sword, Argyrosiphium sandwichensi subspecies sandwichensi, also known as Ahinahina. Seven years later, and uh, one pandemic, we are here on the island of Maui on the volcano Haleakala, where we have come across another subspecies, Argyrosiphium sandwichensi subspecies macrocephalum, which means large-headed. It's called large-headed um, ahinahina because it has much larger inflorescences than the nominate form. Um, and I've really wanted to see this plant, but it's taken this long to get back here. Um, these plants have these silver hairs on their leaves, and they have evolved to protect the plants from UV, and also to allow water to condense on the leaves. As you can imagine, in this dry, sun-exposed climate, water is quite hard to come by. Unfortunately, science, uh, climate scientists have um, indicated that our increasingly warm and dry climate is actually endangering these plants, which historically were already threatened by uh, ungulates, things like goats, but also people uh, vandalizing them and rolling them down the mountainside, which is fairly horrific. So, you know, although they are fully protected now, their, their, their long-term survival is, is still in the balance. But it's, it's a real pleasure to be able to see them. Now, as flowering plants, they obviously reproduce via seeds, but what many people don't realize is that uh, Ahinahina is actually monocarpic. That means that they only flower once in their lifetimes. Once the large flower spike is produced, they produce seeds and die. They're also self-incompatible, which means that it requires two plants to flower at the same time and affect cross-pollination. And as you can see, there is nothing in flower at the moment, despite this being the peak flowering season. And that's simply because this year has been very, very dry. And here is a plant that has uh, flowered in the last few months. You can tell because there's still some uh, green tissue here. But as you can see, the plant has died. Um, so it's lived its life, uh, flowered, passed away without any evidence of having produced seed. So it has not been able to reproduce, which is pretty unfortunate. But no other individuals in the area appear to have flowered possibly in response to the dry conditions.